Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the Star Wars Acolyte, the, the new series that just came out. Uh, I thought it was really cool. It had a two episode premiere and if you plan on watching it, just a spoiler warning, there are going to be spoilers here, but we're going to go ahead and talk about what happens in these two episodes, what my thoughts are about them, what my theories are. And everything so this is gonna be a little bit of a different video compared to what you're used to I mean, you're probably used to my gameplay videos with all commentary and everything but uh, today we're just gonna be talking about the show I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit this all together quite yet this might just be me looking into a camera and I might try to include graphics here and there but maybe in the future we'll have clips and things. I just don't know how that all, YouTube will like all the uh, clips and stuff. And the co for copyright's sake, I'm not gonna do it in this first video, but we'll see in the future. Let me, if you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments what YouTube's rules are about using clips and copyright. I think it's like 15 seconds for like down, but I'm not sure about clips or anything. I'm not sure how that works. If it works the same, what? but we will definitely see here. So, okay, my first thoughts on this, this new show, I've been really excited about it because we haven't gotten anything that's before the prequels, but I've been really, really wanting to get, um, to, to get something more that is the four prequels uh, because Jedi Order has existed way before the prequels. We do have a lot of Star Wars Legend that happens, which technically isn't canon, but they've been slowly rolling things out that this is canon. This is what happened. Uh, so anyway, so my first thoughts on this were like, awesome. Love it. They introduced Jedi. They use the Force pretty often in the first two episodes. They're not afraid. The Jedi are not afraid of you showing their Force power. It was really cool. We saw some lightsabers. We saw force abilities being used. Um, the Jedi are kind of all over the galaxy. They're very well known. And the Sith don't exist as of right now. Um, so the Jedi are the, they're the only force users except for this one person who comes out and is a force user. And they have no idea why she, she comes and kills a couple Jedi and they're like, why is she killing Jedi? What? Who trained her? She's not a part of the Order. Okay, so backing it up, we're going to um, explain a little bit about what these first couple episodes are about. If you haven't seen it, I really suggest you go and watch it. It's over on Disney+. Plus. But basically, you have Osha, who has been in the Jedi Order uh, since she was about eight, but then left the Jedi Order six years ago, at the time that this is all taking place, and her family died in like a horrible fire and everything, and she's supposedly being accused for going and killing Jedi, being a Jedi killer. Turns out her sister is a twin, she's a twin, and she survived the fire, and she's been trained in the Force, not by Jedi, and she's going around killing the Jedi and everything. Also, I think it's a really cool story so far. I we it's still developing, so I'm not I don't have like full thoughts about it, but I just have like really good good feeling about this this series, and I really like how they portrayed everything. So, different characters. My favorite character so far probably probably would have to be be Sol. He seems like a pretty cool guy. Again, don't really know these characters too, too well yet because it's just the first two episodes, but he seems to be like a really powerful Jedi. And this goes into my favorite scene with him in so far. So my favorite scene has been where he's fighting Mei, that's uh, the sister. Uh, he's fighting Mei and he's just dodging her left and right. No, doesn't even take out his lightsaber the entire time. And I, I don't know, I just found that, that scene really cool. We didn't get any lightsaber fights. That's to be expected for the at least the beginning of this part because they don't... Mei doesn't have a lightsaber. And they are, don't use the lightsabers on, them, on other Jedi. So there's no enemy that they have a reason to have a lightsaber battle with. They don't have lightsabers. As of yet. <laughs> so, this is my favorite character, favorite scene so far. Let's get into 
revisited planets. So we, we've been to Coruscant. I'm a little unsure if we've seen these other planets, but I didn't really recognize them right off the bat. So maybe after I do a little research, I'm like, oh yeah, this was also in ever series or movie. And I, I'm really interested in seeing if we'll, so we went to Coruscant. Coruscant is has the, the main Jedi temple base where the Jedi Council are and everything. But I'm wondering if we'll get to see Tatooine, if we'll get to see Naboo. I'm expecting to see some other familiar planets that we've been to before. They've had some that don't quite ring a bell. Maybe we have, but I think these are brand new planets that they've never really mentioned before, which is to be expected because there's a lot of planets and I don't think we've covered hardly any of them um, in what we even have in Star Wars. There's probably so many more. It's a lot bigger of a universe than, than you think. So now we'll head on to lightsaber colors. So in these first two episodes, you see two different lightsaber colors. We see the green lightsaber and Dara's lightsaber is green. And then we see Yord. Yord's lightsaber is yellow. Which is very interesting because we haven't really seen a yellow lightsaber in the series in any of the Star Wars stuff except for in I should say live action Star Wars stuff we have seen yellow lightsabers in I believe Rebels maybe in Clone Wars but I don't recall anything as of right now with the yellow lightsabers but I, I do remember there was a point in Rebels where they showed the yellow lightsabers and then Rey also has a yellow lightsaber kind of toward the end of the movie there. Other than that, uh, we haven't seen another yellow lightsaber. So Yord has a yellow lightsaber. Uh, and if you don't know, the lightsabers represent different, different color represents more of your intake. So like blue is like your more physical, do you, you have use the force for like physical things, physical abilities. Uh, green is more, you're more in touch with nature. Um, you can use the force to communicate with, uh, with other living beings and creatures. And we see a lot of this when, uh, in the rebels, when Ezra is going through his training and he learns that the force is in everything and he's able to communicate with these creatures to help him in assisting him with that, whatever task that he's in, whatever he's in trouble with or what. Yellow lightsaber represents more of a balance. They, the people with yellow lightsabers are not afraid to tap into the dark side of the force to use the dark side abilities. They don't see things as good or bad. They believe it's all in a balance. And so it, it's interesting to see Yord with the yellow lightsaber. So, which kind of makes sense from what we've seen because he he goes in and he confronts uh, Osha about the the crimes that are that she commit that is assumed that she committed, and he's very quick to be like, "Oh, I got to be ready." He almost pulls his lightsaber out on her because she, he thinks that she might have a weapon, but. Uh, she just like, puts her droid down and everything. It kind of makes sense with this character. Like, he doesn't fear to use scare tactics as well. Uh, another, he goes into the Trade Federation. He lifts up his hand, tries to threaten that he's going to do something if they don't tell him where she she is. Trying to get through this in a timely manner, but also trying not to... I'm trying to go into detail, but I'm, I feel like I'm... Also, maybe running in circles and everything. This is a new format for me, at least in this case of talking about a show. I really would like to do more of these, so I'm gonna continue on. Anyway, if you're liking the video so far, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, and if you also wanna see gameplay videos, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Who is he? So, we don't know his name. It's a very mysterious who he is. So if we're, when I say he, we're referring to May's master. May, uh, the person who trained her, is is a dark force user, but we don't know his name. We might know who he is. If he's a character from the Legends, we might know who he is, but we haven't seen we haven't seen his face yet. So we can't quite determine 
who he is. Now, I don't think it's gonna be like Darth Revan or someone obvious like that, but maybe it's, it could be. I'm not too familiar with the whole the legend side of things, but it could be definitely a, a Sith character from those mostly games is what they're what the legends are from so don't know who he is do think he might be a known character that we have heard of before if you are familiar with the legends but i skipped over predictions but we're gonna save that for last we're gonna go for the next topic i want to talk about so this takes place 100 years before the empire even exists so before Order 66 and all that, obviously, could, and that all takes place within like 19 years. So this 81 years ago, this all happens 81 years ago. Yoda, I believe, is in like his 900s. Maybe he died when he was 900. I don't exactly remember the, his exact age, but he's like over 900 years old. And so that means Yoda is alive during this Yoda is alive during these events. So I wonder if we'll get to see Yoda. I don't know if he's a part of the Jedi Council yet or what he's doing at this time. We haven't seen him at all yet, but I do know he's alive. He would be in his late 700s or early 800s. It's just kind of weird to say, but uh, so wonder if we'll get to see any Yoda action. Uh, I would really like to see that. I'm not sure how aging works for a lot of the other species. I know Yoda is over 900 years old so that he is able to be exist here, but I'm not sure if we'll see any other characters. I'm not sure how they age like Yoda ages. So uh, we'll have to keep our eyes out for any characters that may be involved in the uh, Skywalker timeline. Predictions for this show, I think that, so it's called the Acolyte, and it explains that the Acolyte is a person who kills a Jedi without a weapon, without using a weapon. May has yet to do this. I don't think she'll succeed. I think she might get pretty close to succeeding about killing a Jedi, but I don't think she'll succeed. I don't think she's going to succeed in her mission to kill the four Jedi that she's after. She may kill three of the four, but I don't think she'll kill Soul. I'm interested how she will deal with the Wookiee Jedi, which by the way is the second Wookiee Jedi that we know about, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But I think she'll have a change of heart or she will die before she, she, she might i don't know if she lives or not but i could see her having a change of heart changing her ways converting over to the light side or getting so in need of trying to get this task done that when she fails she realizes that she can't turn back and ends up dying in some sort of way whether it's to her own means or some she lets someone win a battle or something. Uh, I like how that is. I don't think she is the Alkali. I think the Alkali is him. Uh, I think he is going to be the, the main villain here. That might not be revealed in even in season one. We'll see how that works, but that's my theory at the moment. That's my predictions for for the show, I do think we'll see. I wonder if we'll see an, like other lightsaber colors, like purple. Or well, we've only had Mace Windu using purple, but uh, I don't know if that's going to be like. Oh no, we're not going to do that because that's like his signature color and everything. Or, I don't know. It might get the fans a little angry. I like, can't have more than one. But uh, there are a lot of Jedi. They're going to have many different. Colors. There's no war going on right now, so this is there. Everyone's at peace. There's just this one person that they're after, and they're discovering that there are more people like her that are trained in the Force outside of the Jedi Order. So there's a lot that to yet to be explained, and there is also a lot to speculate about. And I, I really like to see where these, how these new characters develop and where they go. And I, I hope, I don't know how many seasons they plan for this, but I hope 
to see at least three or four seasons, maybe longer. 100 years is quite a bit to, 81 years is quite a bit to actually cover. There's a lot that can happen before they get to the whole Skywalker time. So there's plenty of room for them to do stuff with that. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on the Alkalite series and what we have gotten so far. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you'd let me know if you have your own theories on what's going to happen, what you would like to also see in the comment section below, and uh, we'll have a discussion. Uh, also, I do have a Discord where I have channels set up to talk about stuff like this. Uh, so if you want to have more of a live conversation with me and other people that are fans of Star Wars, go ahead and join the Discord server uh, and I will direct you to the chat channels and everything that you will want to be a part of. Anyway, I'm going to try and make this a weekly series. I might do it every other week, do episodes at the same time. Uh, we'll kind of see how that works. Uh, I'm not sure how this will be edited all together, but I, I hope that uh, however it turns out that you did enjoy. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.